And while they were hitting tee shots, Nasahatoka had already pitched up to the green. This was for birdie. And they're already rolling. All right, up ahead at 11 now. This was the second shot of Gino Tirikun after coming up. Oh, not able to get up that slope, but now that slope repelling in a way. You can see just how much pitch there is in this green. You just don't have a sharp contact. It makes making par that much more difficult. And that opens the green now for Rose Zhang. Tee shot up the hill. Boy, she was staring anxiously, but not anxious anymore. Go ahead and do it early. Oh. Left for birdie. Looks like the putt you dream of at night. Uphill, right to lefter, and just ran out of pace. So won't be able to put it under par. All right, now the other way, the other direction, back up the hill, and Titikul's second shot. at St. Andrews that she felt she was gonna walk funny for a while, that she was walking with a lean. And there's another short putt. You you called it, Will, that we can't be giving these uh, these three foot putts aren't gimmies. We've seen now Celine miss a short putt. We've seen Gino miss. Well, you can see that she's already gripped down on the club for that ball positioning that Amy talked about that helps get your body a little bit more comfortable with having the ball well above your feet. That was always really frustrating for me when I would go to a Florida course. Give it to oh! Me. And she judged that grain perfectly. She goes, all right, I three putted from three feet. Watch <laughs> this. We hop ahead to 15 in Nasahataoka. Coming off her first bogey of the round, but trying to bounce right back. That's a heck of a shot there for Titico. Slippery downhiller for Titico. No hat trick there, but a nice rally to get it back to even par with two holes to go here in her opening nine. She had to hit that just so soft. It was very downhill and to have a tap in for par as opposed to a five foot putt for par, even though it's the same number on the scorecard. Yeah. Mentally, it makes the round so much longer. She's also, she's also had three new courses in four weeks, which is so tough on these players when you don't go to the same courses, you have to learn new golf courses. It's really tough to keep going. And for a lot of these players that played the Olympics, it's four weeks in a row. All right, so that's a tap in par back at, or up at 17. Stop, stop. How about that? Oh, we've seen some beautiful Birdie putts from Chino. 110 for Titical. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I expected. Good tee ball. I wouldn't want to just show up and play and just say I could do it. And I'm same with Lexi. She's going to want to be able to prepare and 
feel like she can win. Look Give at me that birdie. From NASA. There we go. Second birdie on the first hole. That was put in with authority as well. I told you this hole is supposed to be easier than the scoring was saying. Typical, not that she needs it on a very similar line. Got a nice read there from Hataoka. learn from it that ball wiggling right at the cup instead of coming back left Amy were you surprised that Lexi did not go for it in two or is it just such a difficult second shot even though it's not that far Dance it. There we are. Nas is feeling it. That putt sounded really good. Oh, it is good. how about the roll that Gino Titicul has figured out on these greens? Again, had a three putt bogey at 14, her fifth hole of the day. Get down, Heller, for Titicol. Have to be careful with the speed. No doubt right now with that flat stick. She has figured everything out. She's within one of Coglin's lead. Titicol has 145 to the front of the screen, 155 to the hole that hit in the middle front portion of the green. Kind of on autopilot right now, isn't she, Amanda? Well, she gets in those modes. Steadily into a tie for second, despite being two over through her first few. And no trouble with that one. So this feature group heads over to the six. Four holes to go. Kyle Vera took place. Same group, in fact. Thailand's Wichani Michai. Yeah, she knew it. I feel like I read the greens really well. Um, I kind of practiced the clock on the on the on the hole, so a little different. Did you guys do that, Amanda? Uh, aim point was not a thing when I was playing. It was all about the plumb bob. Morgan Gino Titicun. This is for birdie at the sixth. The players this week getting a little reprieve from the wind and the rain. Is that one of those she almost hit it too good? Nasa, who had probably the easiest or definitely had the easiest shot of the trio around the green. She's first to putt for birdie here. There we go. No problem. I told you she'd get it up and down. Hey, you said all this is so straight. So easy. easy. Up and down. <laughs> Short-sided, really nowhere to go with this. And look at Rose Zhang. Hello. All right, at the ninth, trying to finish up with another birdie look. One of our co-leaders. Well, the judges the bounce. Now the release. That's going to get deep into the green. Uh, I should say, whoa, mama, not come back. There's a short putter miss from Titty Kuhn that got her kind of motivated to get going and oh, oh finishes no. with the short miss. After she was just putting lights out for the majority of her day. Looks like it was actually not a bunker shot, so she was able to really hit it up at high. Hit this low and have it run. Come on. Come on. Oh, what a way to do it. <laughs> you have to shake your head a little bit if you're Sarah. She has not met a hole that she can't birdie yet. 
as we head back out to the golf course and this the third of Allison Corpus. She had about 68 to the pin into this tabletop green. Early a lap down against Schmelzel. Third on the tour this year in strokes gain T to green. The close, we go to the green now and Corpus chipping for birdie. Oh, you called it a very straightforward chip. Just needed to get it on the green and have it run out. Ah, on cue, look at that. Yeah. Throws a dart. Ted aim. Two under par 70 for Lexi. Hate on you, one of the very best ball strikers in the game. Sixth hole of the day, the 15th. That's the type of golf course that really lends itself to good ball striking, tight fairways, firm greens. Someone like Allison Corpus is licking her lips with her uh, fairway percentage up and also just being a ball striker. No fat of the green there. That was a little cut shot right at it. And then at the 16th, the par three for another. It's one thing to have good ball striking, but you still got to make the cuts. Rolls that one in nicely on 16. Fourth hit on you. Yeah, it's all a matter how it comes out of this first couple of inches. Oh, that sounded so solid, too solid, that putt was. Wind just slipped away. Marina Alex, the veteran, at that same 16th. Another at minus three. As well as fescue and just a lot of a lot of issues. Really good save at three from a fried egg in the bunker. She wanted it to go. It listened, but that kick. If that kick had been a little bit straighter than dead left, that would have been a really good golf shot. Off the tee, I usually pick a tree or sound like they're hitting to the white tent and focusing on that. Hmm. There's that big kick. Oh. Put the brakes on, hit it, go! Almost Are you hooped it. Kidding me. Norway's Selina Borga just a moment ago at the tenth. All right, make it another at three under par. Take you to the par five, eighteenth. This is hate on you, and Kay Cockrell is out watching. Yeah, this is three shot par five, and a difficult one at that. Don't often see it, but it's par five playing in the hardest hole on the golf course. This is Joey Ewart at uh, Jody Ewart shot off her sixth hole of the day, the 15th, and this to make it 10 at three under. Oh. Oh, it's got to fall, doesn't it? Nine and a half, maybe. She doesn't think it's going to. All right, so now we've had with one player drop back. Hopped it over those sprinkler heads. and Oh, so well done. It's definitely a shot that they would have been practicing during the practice rounds. Jody, you were shot off at the 16th. To join the group at three under. Yeah, everybody, come on. And back we go to the first and head on you with her third. Long chip and run that's moving left to right the entire way. Just 23 years old, her second year on tour, so much ahead of her. Good recovery after that poor tee shot. I'll say. Yeah. Got a 
Really clip it. There you go. Boom. End over end. Just a moment ago at the par 5 12th, Australia's Robin Choi. This is her fifth shot. And her last. In that entire area, that little clump. This is the fourth for Jennifer Chang. Oh, they're going in from everywhere. Choi holds it from the bunker. Chang from off the green in this group. Everything after that slope should fall down a little bit to the right. With her aggressive play going for this green in two. She may want to come out with some um, gardening shears and cut back that fescue a little. Yeah, that's a little oh, better. Oh, that's the shot that you were wanting emma there we go i mean i was like what is going on i see these girls do this every day on the range <laughs> corpus on her way back go. to two under par one of the great strengths of her game and this doesn't look great Kay. hit on you no that was from a fried egg and she was short-sighted that's about as, as well as she could have done just make sure you get it out and have a chance for par Trying to really spin it. And is able to. Baseball style swing, gripping way down on the shaft. <laughs> Big calf stretcher with her heels way below her toes. Hard to hit those solidly, aren't they, Kay? Oh, big first hop there. She's squeezed five birdies out of this round, but that's going to be... Been on winning teams. Mm. We're looking to change that tie, though. Yeah. Tie last year, of course. Head on you at the sixth. Yeah, nice to have just a little wedge in, but gosh, she was just thinking about that ball getting up there within 10 feet. Head on you for birdie at six. Shorter version of the putt that Schmelzel just had. Same results, not enough oomph. Didn't really learn anything there from Sarah leaving it short. Nothing more frustrating than leaving a putt short. At least that's how I always felt. Only 128 yards today. Just gonna try and tickle a little nine and iron into, into this flag, which is cut on a slight tear in the back right, and this is a nice line. Looks like a good result from the tee. Leads the tour in proximity to the hole. Just in front of a tuft of grass. Oh, that sounded so heavy, but wow, what a good wow. shot. Wow. This was earlier at the seventh hit on you. Downhill chip shot out of the rough. And really gauged the speed so nicely coming off that slope out of the rough. Well, you said it. Good place from which to play a third shot. Nice one from Head on You. And this to get back to three under. Five helps. Oh, really well done. We've seen two incredible chips from Allison, two holes in a row. Good opportunity here to finish with a potentially a birdie if she can get this in tight. Good swing, good sound of that shot. Chance to join her. Even a good bit quicker than I thought it would. Thought that would continue to release on down to the flag. Yeah. 
Getting into this setting sun can be such a challenge. Uh, even just picking the right line, the right spot, because it's hard to just really stare at it. And that was really well done.